quitting YouTube has become the go-to because as of right now, it's just not a space that is honoring the content that I'm creating. and welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome 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 man let's just jump to the need for an update I feel like it's been kind of forever since I gave you all an update especially after the whole craziness of the Texas winter storm I know that I have subscribers that may be from Texas or have family members that were impacted by the storm. So just wanted to give a quick brief update on my life in general um, and just kind of where we are right now, where I am right now and different things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I hope you guys are all doing well. First and foremost, life is crazy. So if you made it till today, if you made it to this day watching this video, just that you are a survivor, you are a warrior and you're here. Just wanted to throw that quick encouragement out there. So I currently live in Texas, was born in Houston, went to school in Nigeria at 13 um, and came back here, went to grad school, went to undergrad. So I currently live in Waco, Texas. If you're following me on Instagram, you will know that a month before the Texas winter storm, we actually had a, a snow day in Waco and it was like a legit snow day. Like I actually have clips of me having fun in the snow and it was just amazing um but this uh different snow day that became the texas winter snowstorm that was declared a national disaster was not what any of us in texas were expecting like people were losing uh power people had no electricity people had no water people had no places to go people were freezing to death it was crazy insane so all that to say we did experience that in i want to say the third week of february which was so unexpected like yes we had heard about it from like you know the weather channel there's gonna be a national you know snowstorm warning or just things like that but I didn't know that it was gonna get as bad as it did and I wasn't sure how long it was gonna last so on day one you know well I'll back up some I get this email from my job saying hey we're not working tomorrow um because of a snowstorm or we're not working for the next three days and i'm like yay vacation right just super excited so then we wake up the next morning and there's no light none zip none gone so at this point i'm like okay maybe it's gonna come back maybe they're just working on it and honestly like it was just this drawn out process of waiting and hoping and the lights never coming back on so we went with that light for two days before we decided that it is way too cold it was like one degrees outside and we were like indoors like freezing the dogs were like shaking so cold and we were like it's time to like find a hotel and book and get out of here now mind you the day before i did look for a hotel but they were all sold out like it was insane so of course trying to survive my husband and i were starving um, because like i said there was no electricity so there was no hot food y'all we have a backyard like fire pit we like made jalapeno bacon sandwiches on it because we were so hungry like here's a clip from us making that like survival struggle food all right so i just made some jalapeno cheese turkey well, no bacon egg sandwiches you can see the grill <laughs> y'all this is so good out y'all but it's working though it's working like i can't even just believe that that's what we had to go through and do just to get a meal um obviously the roads were all icy so you couldn't go anywhere really and if you did you had to be very careful there was actually a car accident not too far not car accident but a car series of accidents not too far from us um where it was like a hundred car pile up of just cars that had slid on black ice and i think several people died and many were injured and it was just a crazy time now if you know anything about texas we are not equipped for snow we are not equipped for a snowstorm 
talk less of a snowstorm. Uh, we are not equipped for things like that. So when it happened, it kind of just shut the whole state down. Uh, it was crazy beca because um, one of our, you know, political figures out here in Texas actually fled to Mexico. Not gonna drop any names, but fled to Mexico and that was really crazy because we we're like, what the heck? Like, you're supposed to be like, you know, troubleshooting this with us. Like, you're running from the problems. Like, okay, cool. That's a bit. So anyways, we're still in survival mode. On day two, we end up going to a hotel where we're able to take the dogs with us and we hang out there until um, for about three days. The light came back on after two days, but to be on the safe side, we stayed at the hotel for three days with the pups. Um, it was great. It was just still crazy of a situation just to be in, like just smear survival mode. And it was just a lot, but I'm super thankful for everyone who reached out on Instagram, sent prayers, um, kind of just engaged with just um, learning about what's happening in Texas and really just empathizing. So I really did appreciate that. So the update is that we're good to go now. We didn't have any major home damage, thank God. We have our water back, electricity is back. Everything is pretty much back to normal for us. I know people were hit differently. So some people still don't have water. Some people still don't have electricity. So I'm definitely grateful to be in a position where we have our amenities back, whereby other people might not have that. But whew, it was quite the week, quite the week. On top of the a pandemic, we were going through another craziness of a winter storm. So I'm just glad we made it through. Um, it was also really sweet that getting home, um, back in the house, the lights were back on, everything was stable, the heater was on. I was able to come home to a box of roses that were sent to me by Rose Forever. Let me grab them. So these are the roses that were sent to me by Rose Forever and honestly, I was just so thankful. I feel like after a long week, like the one that we all went to in Texas, but we all went through in Texas, but specifically the week that like my husband and I went through, these were, whoo, they smell good. These roses were just the sweetest gift that I could have like literally asked for. And I don't know if you guys know anything about like Rose Forever, the company. They are a New York based company um, that do um, specialize in creating um, these roses that last for a long time. So I'm looking at keeping these bad boys on me for about a year, maybe even more. It's pretty amazing because these are made of real long lasting roses and they're just pretty awesome. So this is a box of nine. I will have a, a link in my description bar below. I will also have a code if you want to check them out. Thank them for me because these were just so sweet. So I was super grateful uh, for these roses. Um, they will probably go like in the back somewhere or probably just as a cute little prop around the room. They also smell, have this great essential oil aroma. So that's like really, really nice. Like they smell they smell like rich roses. They're pre I believe they're preserved in essential oils and it's just really, really cool. So that's basically what the box looks like. It is velvety and this is what the roses look like. These boxes come in a set of nine roses, 16 roses, or 36 roses per box. So check them out and let me know your thoughts. Um, but let's go ahead and move on to the next update. Many of you guys may know that I am a Sephora Squad member. Um, my time on the Sephora Squad is gradually coming to an end, um, but I am looking to reapply. Yay! <laughs> but reapplication requires me to receive testimonials once more. So I am counting on the gems on the squad, C squad, to show up and show out for me on those testimonials. I will keep you guys updated with um, when the testimonial options are launched. I'll probably post it on the community page. We make a quick video about it, just asking you guys to fill out a testimonial for me. Essentially, what the Sephora squad is, is that it's a one year partnership with Sephora. Um, I'm com currently completing my one year partnership. And honestly, y'all, I really enjoyed my experience. It was just so amazing to be able to enter into a space, you know, having your own personal story, having your own personal walk of life, and to just create impact based off of the life that you 
honestly live right genuinely authentically live so it was really nice just getting to share with my audience my makeup techniques getting to share with my audience my reviews on makeup and different things like that if there's anything that you're like hey Krista I wish you would have done more of this please tell me because if I do make it into the squad again which I hope I do uh, but if I don't I truly believe that God you know is still in control and that he is still a faithful um, I would love to make those requests um, happen. I would love to just take notes of what you're wanting of me and execute them. So stay on the lookout for the Sephora Squad application 2021. If you are a beauty enthusiast and you would love to join, feel free to join the squad as well to apply. I will leave the link in my description bar below for you to see how to apply if you were interested. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and move on to this next topic that Huh, it's hard just talking about I feel because it's been frustrating me for a very very long time um, and it's around the topic of quitting YouTube quitting YouTube and just letting it go calling it a day um, YouTube has been really hard for me I feel like it's one of those platforms that you know you put your best into or you try your best to make this video and this footage and this content and it can just kind of like not really give you the you know results or the satisfaction that you are wanting from it for example I have about 18,000 plus subscribers it makes no sense to me why only a hundred or two hundred viewers are getting to see my videos and it's really hard right to grasp like oh my gosh like I'm making these videos and I'm really trying hard on most of them uh, with the time that I have allotted to editing and you know getting my videos compiled together um, it can be really really hard on me um, just emotionally and mentally when I do see like a hundred two hundred views and I'm like there's no way this video is being seen by all 18,000 of my subscribers so I don't know what I did to YouTube Apparently the break I took was like, we don't know who you are anymore, sis. And that's really hard for me. Quitting YouTube has become the go-to because as of right now, it's just not a space that is honoring the content that I'm creating. And to me, that's just wrong. You know, that's just not okay. But... I've realized that I do want to stay on this platform because I love this platform. I want to stay on this platform because I joined it like six years ago um, making videos for Crystal's Diary and I loved it. So whatever it's going to take, whatever it's going to take for YouTube to trust me again or to re-expose my videos to more people, that's just what it's going to have to be. I'm just going to have to keep pushing forward, creating great content, receiving feedback from you all on what you want to see, and just doing my own thing, right? I always tell people don't get in it for the views, for the clout, for all that stuff. So speaking to myself again, right? Despite having 18,000 subscribers, it's okay if only five people see your video. Like, it's it's fine. Which I don't like like that, but it's fine. So I'm just going to have to hold on to that during this process of pushing past this crazy algorithm of not being seen at all on YouTube. And I think one thing that you can do as a viewer, as a um, just subscriber to my channel, is to share, share, share my videos, like them, comment, um, something that will help boost the I guess the analytics on the video I guess maybe YouTube will honor that I don't know sis I'm I'm trying to understand this too but whatever we can do I know we can do it together and I know my videos can come back to good standing or whatever grace it needs to be in so that is the plan I was gonna quit but I am not a quitter so I'm staying and I'm fighting because I know that this is a space that I want to be in that my voice is needed in that I that I want my voice to be in and I've just gotten so much feedback from you all on just how my channel has impacted you um, in different seasons of life and different walks and I want to honor that I don't just want to dip on you because YouTube is being childish or YouTube is being weird with the algorithm I want to stay and fight for um, what I know I can be in for you right for you that's watching right now so I'm staying <laughs> but um, but yeah just wanted to come on here and share a couple of updates um, I did release a new uh, merch line a new rebranding of my merch line into living on purpose I now have the gray love by God um, crew necks as well as the beige love by God hoodies and I have a website link for it so that will also be in my description bar below support one of your favorite you know youtubers 
and I will see you guys in my next video. Make sure to like this video, subscribe, share it. I don't know what we're going to do to get back on YouTube's good graces, y'all, but we will make it happen. Okay? I'm not giving up. Bye.